Gal Ants Fest 1 Star Reviews We all know that authors love nothing better than a truly heartfelt, bitter, savage, one-star review of their work. And so here for your amusement are some of your favourite science fiction and fantasy authors presenting some of their favourite one-star reviews. It lacks style, seems clumsy, and there isn't one ounce of humour. This book was one of the most awful books I have ever read. I didn't even finish reading it before I threw it in the trash. One star, thank you America. Dust takes place on a giant multi-generation spaceship that's stranded in space. In case you haven't been reading my reviews, don't ever go into space. Bad stuff always happens in space. And the bad stuff in Dust is mostly the storytelling. This type of complacent and pretentious writing does nothing for me. It's typical of a postmodern vanity that insists that a stylized mode of expression can make up for the absence of a properly worked out set of themes. Scott Lynch's The Lies of Locke Lamora is a ripping yarn, utterly spoilt by unnecessarily foul language. Well, that just breaks my heart. <laughs> People have occasionally been very unkind about Dawn Thief by me, James Barclay. Take this one. Well, I got to the end, but only because breastfeeding precludes doing anything very challenging at the same time. Taken at face value, The Seventh Miss Hatfield has all the makings of an entertaining historical romance, with time travel thrown in, of course, and then there's a little winky face, which is positive, it's good, and then it goes quickly downhill. But that's not what I signed up for, literally. Or, more succinctly, I have seen deeper and more entertaining puddles. This is Brandon Sanderson, and here is my one-star review of The Way of Kings. Just pulp, comma, dash. Abysmal writing, with the literary prowess of a dishcloth. Easily the most monotonous book I have ever read to page 100, and then taken to Oxfam. Cellar service was excellent. I can only assume that this tripe got published is because, one, the author wrote the book that the movie Shockerly is based on, and two, the publisher knows nothing about heathenry and does not care to. Read some fan fiction on the net. It's free. Or, top marks for brevity go to sub devil derivative trash. All feedback gratefully received. No depth, no charm, no sympathetic characters. Really, I think this very talented writer-creator needs a good editor-critic. Really, this is rubbish. I wish Hin well, but for now, shame. Galant's Fest one star reviews.